uh, from the 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 cerebrum up on the top here. Okay, this whole thing is the cerebrum. This is the corpus callosum, and right below that is the septum pellicidum. This here is the well. This one is a label. Well, maybe it is. I'm not quite sure what that number is, but this is the lateral ventricle. Okay, turn back over. This is the thalamus, hypothalamus, the pineal body or gland, called different things by different books. Pituitary gland, pons. This right here is, I don't think it's on your list, it's the cerebral peduncles. This right here is the, that did pons already, the medulla oblongata. Cerebellum, I don't see a label on it, but it probably is on the other side. Okay, not really. And that little tree-like structure, I think the labels wore off on us. The little tree-like structure there is the arbor vitae. Okay? Uh, let's see what else is on here that I may have missed. Corpus callosum, thalamus, septum pellicidum, lateral ventricle, midbrain. The midbrain is going to be both the... Uh, well, so they have midbrain is nine. I don't see nine on here. As a matter of fact, okay, here we go. This is on this side here. This is where you have the numbers. But right here, the fourth ventricle. Okay, I don't see. They're supposed to be. This the fourth ventricle. Again, the. Uh, here they have I as the third ventricle, but again, the third ventricle and the thalamus, they're kind of a tough call because the third ventricle occurs between the two, the, the two halves, the two lateral masses of the thalamus. But this is the thalamus. Uh, oh, mammillary body. Okay, that little guy right there, which looks like an R. Okay. And again, you know, most of these things are right here. The... Uh, because this one and that one are very similar. They may have different numbers. Let me go and use this one that she has in her hands. And, uh, can, can you have that real fast? Where's my lateral fissure? Oh. <laughs> well, he's going through it. The lateral fissure <laughs> does not exist. Oh. Because the lateral fissure is actually what they're trying to call this right here, which is the lateral sulcus. Okay. Which is 120. Oh, no, wait a minute. 621. 621. I thought that was 129. Okay. So it's 621, and it's actually called the lateral sulcus. And it separates the temporal lobe from the frontal lobe and the parietal lobe. Okay. But now, for this one, it shows the lobes. Remember, this key goes with this too. We have our frontal. Uh, Frontal, parietal, temporal, occipital. And on this side, if we pull this part off, you can see your insula. This little guy right here. Okay? The bump or the white line? Well, the whole thing here. That whole thing. It's a lobe. It's a lobe that's stuck underneath the other lobes. Okay? Now, the, uh, this one, you can see, actually has the central sulcus which is this right here, and it's number 624, with your precentral gyrus and postcentral gyrus, here and here. Okay? Uh, the next thing, the corpus callosum, the corpus callosum is, okay, then it has several different numbers. Over here, it's 612, it's, well, sorry, 613. 612 is pointing to the lateral ventricle right here. Uh, 615, the cerebral aqueduct. 616 is pointing to the fourth ventricle. Central canal, well, we don't even talk about central canal. The lateral fissure, 621, is, let's see, how do they do that one?
from Lavrov. <laughs> Sorry, Lavrov Fisher is actually right, so it's Lavrov Salt, oh, so I was getting confused there. Okay, again, we did all these, the pineal body, I lost my voice there, is, is right down here, uh, which is 628. This is the, well, I see this is the intermediate mass of the thalamus, so, you know, right there. Uh, here now you have the, the corpora quadrumina, but notice that they have it as uh, the superior and inferior, uh, no, quadrigeminal, okay. These are actually superior clicoli and inferior clicoli. This is a name that's used by some people, but not, not often, okay. But, you know, you might want to change this along with that, you know, but that's going to be your superior and inferior clicoli. This here is your fourth ventricle, your pons, your medulla oblongata, hypothalamus. This is the uh, 700 is the, it's like the mammillary body. Not showing really good on this one though. Okay. And I think that's about it for this one. Now, the one that doesn't have a key. That one, and, and these are all the ones that don't have keys. They're, and I think these are actually the two halves of, of the same one. But now you can see again, your cerebrum. Here you have your, you know, I wouldn't use lateral sulcus, and I wouldn't do any lobes on this one, okay? Some instructors might, but I would, I would, add, I could always ask though, this is cerebrum or cerebral hemisphere, this is a gyrus, and this is a sulcus, okay? Uh, under here, I could always do the corpus callosum, the septum pellicidum, the thalamus, hypothalamus, pons, medulla, corpora quadrumina, cerebellum with the arbor vitae. Uh, if I turn this over right here, I won't ask any cranial nerves of this one. Only cranial nerves will come from the other one. But I do like, would like you to know maybe olfactory bulb and optic chiasma. Okay?